Hi guys, welcome back to my vlog channel. Today we are doing some holiday shopping and whatnot. It is coming up to Christmas and I'm actually doing some of my shopping a little last minute. I, I do most of my shopping online and I have ordered a lot of stuff but none of it's came yet and I'm like, time is ticking. But I'm gonna go to Target today just to look around for like small little knickknacks and I also have a return and I'm donating a ton of clothes. I don't know if you can see it back there. You can't. I got this comforter from Target and it's so, so comfy, don't get me wrong, but you start sweating immediately. It's like a Sherpa comforter. So cozy, but way, way, way too hot. So I'm returning that and then I'm gonna look for a new one that's not gonna make me sweat like I'm in a sauna all night long. My bedroom always just gets so hot and I turn the fan on and then like I can't, I can't swallow in the morning. My mouth is like so dry and then my throat hurts. So, you know, I just need a, I need a thinner comforter and maybe some different sheets maybe like a silky kind I have like the t-shirt cotton material ones and they honestly just collect so much dog hair too so we're just gonna look for some new bedding today as well so I'm about to go get some Chipotle for lunch we have a Chipotle with the drive through by me which is my favorite one to go to <laughs> it's just like overwhelming going in there I don't know I prefer the drive through always so let me make sure I order it to the right one because I have a really bad habit of ordering it to the wrong Chipotle and driving to a different Chipotle. So let me make sure here. Okay, got the correct one. And I think today, should I get a burrito? So Chipotle sent me this cute little napkin holder <laughs> and it like goes up here. I wanted to film a little video with it. So I'm really, really hungry. I don't know if I should get a burrito or a bowl burritos are so satisfying to watch someone eat like I I love it just a big burrito and taking big bites out of it it's so yummy so I don't know do I get a burrito or a bowl bowls I feel like you get a lot more and it's better to reheat I think I'm gonna do the bowl we're gonna do some carne asada we like white rice I get extra and then we'll do light pinto beans Salsa, corn, I like extra corn. Get the veggies in. Light hot salsa, extra sour cream, extra cheese, lettuce, and then we do chips and hot salsa on the side. Sometimes this hot salsa is not that spicy, but sometimes it's extremely spicy and it'll destroy my stomach. So that's why I always do the light of it. I prefer to get the dragon sauce on the side, which is the hot salsa mixed with sour cream, but you can only do that if you go inside. So we're fine with just doing this. Today for lunch, I'm having Chipotle. I always get chips with my order. Also some hot salsa. I prefer the bowls because then you have a lot more leftovers, but sometimes I do like a burrito. And I'm a shaker. Oh, look at that. I need a napkin. <laughs> Chipotle sent me this and they said, Steph, it's not a Chipotle car mukbang without a stack of napkins. <laughs> so now I can keep this right above here. I like to dip my chip in the hot salsa and then into the bowl. They have the best sour cream ever. It's so good. Here is my order. All right, I returned the old comforter set and now I'm looking for a new one and there's just so many options and like I don't know what is the best material to not just grab onto dog hair so this is what i'm thinking of getting these sheets are like i don't even know what material this is kind of like a raincoat material <laughs> but they like i'm so hot when i sleep so i feel like this would be better rather than like a super soft one and i feel like a material like this maybe wouldn't have dog hair sticking to it and then i'm doing just a thin quilt but the only issue is I feel like I might have, my old one is similar to this. I don't know if it's like the same style, but I feel like it is similar to this, but more gray. So 
so that's the only issue. I also really like these sheets. The plaid is super cute, but also the floral just goes so good with this one. So, what do we think? I'm also just grabbing some Christmas bags. They have some really cute ones here, only for three bucks too. And then I thought these little charms were cute as well. And then I'm having a Christmas party, and these are reusable drink pouches, so I might make a fun drink. They only had two packs of them, so I have eight candy canes. I think that's a lot of fun. Okay, I also really love the stripe set. So it's either I go more simple, or do something like that. I also kind of like this one. Hmm, this is kind of cute. Also for like winter, like a darker brown. All right, we are back home and we're gonna try out the new set on my bed. Also, if you guys have an uncomfy bed, trust me on this one. I have this memory foam topper I got from Amazon. I do have it in my storefront. It is a game changer. My bed was so hard and uncomfortable before. I was planning on getting a whole new mattress. But I got this topper and it's it's so comfy. Like it feels like a cloud. It's so soft and squishy and you just like sink into it. Love it. Okay, so here are the new sheets. They match the gray vibe in my room really nice. I'm gonna put them on and we'll see how we like them. All right, new bedding is on the bed. I love it. It's so pretty. I think the dog hair won't stick to this too bad. The dogs usually sleep on the blankets. I swap these out all the time and clean them. I'll open it up and they sleep on the end. But this is so pretty. These sheets with the pillows. And then I had those pillows and this one. And I feel like this looks just so pretty and it matches the room so good. You like it, Hershey? You like it? So, we'll, we'll test it out tonight and see how we like it, but I think I will. I like thinner stuff. The other one was super cute, but just way too fluffy for my liking. Added the snowflake pillow on top. So cozy. It is the next day, and we are doing a photo shoot at JCPenney's with the dogs. So, I'm about to start getting ready for that. I just took a bath. And now we're gonna do my hair and makeup. So I called JCPenney's this morning and made an appointment. I'm like, I have one question though. Are you able to bring dogs? She's like, yeah, as long as you contain them and have them on a leash in the store and like keep them away from people. I'm like, okay, and I, I have three, not just one. So she's like, as long as you know they're calm and so my dogs are a bit crazy, but we're doing it. I need these I need these photos. It's going to be so cute. I'm going to bring treats and everything. And as long as I get like one good one, then we're good. The session is like 15 minutes, which is super quick. But yeah, we're just going to try and pose them and get us all together. I can maybe hold all of them. I don't know how we'll do this, but it's going to be hard. But the pictures are going to turn out so cute. I already know. And I'm going to make Christmas cards with them. So I'm just getting ready for that now. I have no clue what to wear. She asked if I wanted to do a holiday package. And I said yes. But I also kind of want to do like a normal background as well. So then. So then I can maybe like print this photo out on a canvas. And put it big on the wall. This is a family portrait. But I, I don't know if she's already going to have like the backdrop set up. I'll see if I could just do like a solid colored background as well. But yeah, I'm super excited. I have not done a JCPenney's photo shoot since I was in like second grade. We used to do like some family photos there. We only did a couple. Me for sure growing up, I'm going to get family photos taken there or somewhere every single year for like Christmas. And everyone's going to be all matching. I love doing photos like that. And they're great to look back on. So, yeah, we're doing one with all the dogs. It might be hilarious. It might turn out horrible. or We don't really know. But I'm excited. I'm so excited to go do a photo shoot. <laughs> but I uh, don't know what to wear. I'm thinking of this sweater, but it's really short. 
and I want to wear leggings. I don't think I want to be in jeans in the photos, so I feel like I need to wear a different sweater. But I like this one. I don't know. I was going to wear a red sweater, but I don't want it to be like too Christmassy because the dogs are going to be in sweaters. So I think I should just be in a neutral color so the dogs can pop. <laughs> Oh my god, this is going to be too funny. But I'm just getting ready. Rare Beauty, every day. Definitely my favorite foundation. Still, usually I go through like phases and then I find like a new one I like better. But I still like that one the absolute best. Just love it. So we need to like really do my makeup good today since I'm going to be doing a photo shoot. But I feel like when you have like all the lights and everything and a good camera, the pictures just turn out really good. I don't know if they Photoshop you, probably not because it's JCPenney's, but the quality will be like so high def. <laughs> so luckily I don't have any zits at the moment. I had one right here. You can still kind of see the scar, but I had one right there for like three whole weeks. It would not go away. It was like a scab that just never went away and I like couldn't even pick it off because it was so embedded. <laughs> Are you ready for your photo shoot? Your first photo shoot ever. You're looking gorgeous as ever. Okay, I packed up a little bag with some sweaters for the dogs. These have little antlers on them, aren't these so cute? I have matching for Hershey and Mochi, and then I got this one for Toffee because they did not have all three of the same, but they all match, this one's so cute. And then I'm bringing some treats, and a jar of peanut butter, and a treat to squeak. Nope. You guys, the photo shoot went amazing. I got such cute photos. I'll show you guys my favorites. The dogs were so good. They were so behaved. They stayed in their places and all were smiling. And then this one, different backdrop. I really like this one. And then I got ones kissing each of the dogs. Here's me and Mochi. And then this one I did without the Christmas sweaters just so I just have a family photo with the dogs. I might honestly get this printed and put it like on the wall. I wish it was a little bit zoomed out, but that's how the photo was. But it's super cute. Look at Toffee. Everyone is smiling. <laughs> Here's a close-up of me and Toffee. And I just turned those photos into Christmas cards. This is the picture I decided to go with. I think it's so cute. Her, she has her antlers up. <laughs> And then I just put the Pappas family. I love it so much. My mom and I just made it to the Smuckers store. Smuckers is from Ohio, and we were about 50 minutes from it. It's Orville, Ohio, so lots of farmland, not too much around here. But we did stop at Grandpa's Cheese Barn as well. That was only like 20 minutes away. So we went there, and now we're going to go check out the Smuckers factory. So my mom found out about this place. How? Oh, your friend? <laughs> yeah, we had no clue. We live so close. The building's cute. Look at this place. How cute. They have a ton of stuff and it's all decorated. You can create your own peanut butter jar. Oh my gosh. I'm going to make Hershey, Mochi, and Toffee their own peanut butter. <laughs> oh yeah, look. Choosy pups. Choose Jeff. <laughs> I'm gonna do this picture. You have to email the photo to this email and then it'll pop up. This is gonna be so cute. You could do any of these jars. Oh. See how they did this one? This girl right here did her dog. All right, I'm gonna do the peanut butter jar. Making one for grandpa? I am. <laughs> her dad loves peanut butter. He Just does. like all of us. <laughs> Where we get the addiction. <laughs> yeah, right? Okay, I'm doing this picture and it won't let you add your own caption. They also have like happy holidays. I kind of like the we're nuts about you. Should I do that instead? That's so cute. You could do a yellow too. I think I like it white. We stopped at this home style cooking buffet on the way home. Super cute in here and homey. 
Look how delicious. This is my favorite type of food. Got myself a salad with some egg, Thousand Island, onion. We got some white bread. My mom's salad looks nice and fancy compared to mine. I got some chicken, mashed potatoes, noodles, corn, <laughs> pasta, meatballs, potato salad, fruit. We're, we're trying it all. <laughs> you got to when you get a buffet. For $16.99. Is that really how much? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's a deal. And there's desserts. <laughs> and a gift shop for more desserts. <laughs> I just dropped my mom off and made it back home. Now let's do a little haul of what we got today. First, the doggos wanna say hello. We're also gonna let them try out a new Smuckers treat. I did not know Smuckers was the same company as Milkbone. But like, look how adorable these are. Okay, can you spin? Good girl, and then Toffee is gonna get a small little piece. Mmm. Okay, so from Smuckers, I got this little milk bone dog container. I think this is perfect for when I make the dogs some chicken or have something in the fridge for them. I'll use this. Some Uncrustables. These little miniature spoons I thought were really cute and would be good for like serving a dip onto your plate or things like that. And then I got a little case for my Uncrustable and some dog treats. And then this homemade peanut butter that turned out so, so cute. I ended up doing the saying, we're nuts about you. <laughs> and then at Grandpa's Cheese Barn, I stocked up on some cheese board essentials for Christmas. I got this garlic and herb mix, bacon and cheddar, pepperoni cheddar, buffalo pepper cheddar, and hot pepper cheese. Oh, and the dynamite dill. This one's like a very pickly one. This one was pretty spicy. This one has like actual pepperoni chunks in it. They all had all the samples out in bowls in front of the cheeses. So I tried like probably 30 different kinds of cheeses. But these ones stood out to me. They're super creamy. I don't like cheeses when they're dry and kind of chalky. I like them more creamy and squishy. So these ones were my favorites. I always get these thin wheat crackers there. And then I tried out this jam and I thought it was really good. So I grabbed one of those. And then I also just got some beef jerky. So that is the haul for today. Well guys, I'm going to close out the video here. If you enjoyed today's vlog, make sure to hit the thumbs up and stay tuned for the next. Bye guys.